Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I got an awesome theme slash mod for you guys. Now, if you're not already familiar with this, if you hold down the home button and the sleep button together, you can take a screenshot of your screen, like this. And as you can see, there's a flashing white light, and I'm going to show you how to change that white flashing screen to whatever image you want. Just to prove to you that that, that was a real screenshot. We'll go to save photos, and uh, there it is. Uh, as you can see, it was uh, what I took one minute ago, and this is the one that I just took. Okay, guys? So, today I'm going to show you how to change that white flashing screen that I just showed you to whatever image you want. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into Cydia, and we're going to wait for Cydia to load up. Just let its uh, sources refresh and uh, get all the new packages onto our Cydia. We will need to install two packages. One of them most of you will already have. One is Winterboard. If you don't already have Winterboard, I'll just quickly show you what to do. Just go to search, go to the package names, and type in W I N T E R B O A R D. So a compound word, Winter and board. Click search and we're going to scroll down into the W's and we're going to install winter board. So all you do is click on it once, click install in the top right hand corner and then confirm again in the top right hand corner. Now after you've installed winter board, if you didn't already have it, we can go back into the search and you'll need to search for one more package. This is the actual tweak and it's going to be called SB Flasher. So I think if we just type in SBFLAS, we can click search, and you won't have these two right here. All you'll have is the one with the little drill as an icon from iSpazio. Just click on that, and again, click install in the top right hand corner. And now we're going to click confirm. Now we're just going to wait for our device to have SB Flasher installed. And installation took no time, and now we're gonna wait to set it to take its usual. Let it take its time here. And once it is done installing, we can click return to Cydia. And now we can just click the home button, and we are all set. And now all we want to do is go onto our computer. And once we're on our computer, we're gonna go into the first link that I put in the video description. This will take you to a very familiar site if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while. This is siphone.net uh, forward slash wallpapers and it's got all kinds of high definition wallpapers perfectly sized for your iPod touch or iPhone. Um, so now basically we want to find the image that we want to flash while we're taking our screenshot. So we can browse through these categories, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, I think somewhere it usually has how many files they have but they have quite a lot. So I'm going to go for, we'll go for cars I guess, we'll go for the cars category. And now we have this list of images that are, fall under the category of cars. I'm going to go for the Ferrari 59XX, so click on that. And we'll be taken to a larger scaled size of it. So all you want to do now is right click on this and click save image as. However it happens in your web browser, you just want to save this picture. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, so we're going to click save. Sorry, my computer's running slow today. And now we will have the image right here. Now we're going to need to rename this image and reformat it to the uh, format we need it to. So all you want to do is right click on it and click rename. So we want to rename this image to capital S, capital B, capital S, lowercase c, lowercase r, lowercase e, lowercase e, lowercase n, capital S, lowercase h, lowercase o, lowercase t, and then capital B, and capital G. Okay guys, 
That is a mouthful, but if you did not catch that right now, that name will be in the description. And we also need to delete the part that says JPG to PNG. So delete what's there, dot JPG, and put dot PNG. So again, it's SB in capitals, then capitalized screen, uh, then capitalized shot, and then BG in capitals, okay? So we can click outside. And now when it asks us to change, we're going to cl click yes, okay? Once we've got this file that is reformatted and renamed to what exactly what we need, I want you to download the file that I've prepared, and the link to that will be in the video description. Now I know you guys like it when I do most of the work for you, so I've made this as simple as possible, and all you need to do is download this RAR file. Now, with WinRAR installed, you will need that installed, but you can Google that if you don't already have it. We want to right-click on this zip file, and we want to click Extract Here. And now we'll have a folder that says Flash, okay? So now all we want to do is double-click in there. And then, again, double-click into Folders. And then double-click into the folder that says Springboard.app. And all we need to do is copy this picture that we renamed and saved into Springboard.app. And it's that easy, guys. We are all done. We can close out, and it is time to SSH into our device. So I will be using WinSCP since I am on Windows. And we're going to wait for it to load up, and we're going to double-click. And now we will be logging into our device. Okay? So now all we want to do is go back once. And we want to scroll down into the folder that says stash. And all you want to do is drag and drop this folder that says flash into the folder on your iPod Touch that says themes. And you want to click copy. Now it should copy in no time at all. We can close out of our SSH client and we can go back onto our iPod Touch. Alright, now that we're back, we can just click on Winterboard. And that is all we need to do. And all we want to do is click on the one that's on the very top, that should say Flash, and we want to click the Home button. And this will respring our device, which basically means refresh with all the new settings that we have placed in. And as you can see, there is that uh, little scrolling lines in the middle, which means we are respringing. And we can slide to unlock. And now if I take a screenshot of my device, let's take it of a different screen. We'll go into my... Alright, we'll just take a screenshot of this screen right here. So this is a screen that's different from the one that I took at the very beginning. So again, screenshot, we click the home button and the lock button together. And... As you can see, the image that flashed instead of that boring white screen is now a picture of a Ferrari, or whatever you chose it to be so. Okay guys, this is a very effective mod and it's very easy to apply. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it and you en uh, enjoyed the hack, please rate this video 5 stars. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, do subscribe because it does help me a lot. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.